Hey Bruins, and welcome to a new episode of Bruin Bitters! competition at the Columbus Regional, we scored a team score of 197.65. Qualifying us to the national championships. So your Bruins are headed off to St. Louis, Missouri. Woo! But before we get into it, <laughs> let's all introduce the one you've been waiting for, Madison Koshin. Hey guys. After Hi Maddie. After all of these What's requests, <laughs> after all of these requests, your dreams have come true. <laughs> Genie in the bottle. Yeah. So Maddie, how did you feel at regionals? I think regionals went really well. We finally put together four events and I think it's really exciting because we got the fourth highest uh, team total score out of all the regions and we still have room to improve. So going to nationals, I know um, we're really excited to improve on the little details that we can fix up and hopefully become Natty champs. Heck yeah. That's the goal, baby. Before we continue on, roll the tape. So your Bruins started off on the floor exercise and we definitely went lights out. Caitlin Ohashi won with a 9.925 showing off that really cool Michael Jackson routine. And then moving to the vaulting event, Pula and Anna tied for first place, both scoring a 9.9 .9 on their beautiful vaults. Now that we're in postseason, there is a bye rotation that the Bruins had to go through after vault. But after the bye, the Bruins were off to bars, and Madison Koshin was back in the lineup and scored a solid 9.875, and Kyla Ross, or Kyla Boss, <laughs> scored a 9.975, winning the regional title. And speaking of Kyla Boss, we went to the Balance Beam event, and she rocked it, winning that event as well, scoring a 9.95. Maddie! I'm so excited that you're on the show because everyone can now know your story. Um, <laughs> how did you feel on bars coming back? Because you've been training really hard in the gym and it's been, you know, we've had your ups and downs. So how, <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure. So how did you feel to get back in the lineup? Yeah, I think it was definitely really exciting for me to finally be back on bars because it's always been one of my favorite events. And just after having shoulder surgery and just kind of putting everything forward and putting this shoulder surgery behind me and just knowing that my shoulder is so much better and so much more pre uh, repaired than last year. I felt so mentally confident mm -hmm. going in this year and I, it was just like one extra thing that I didn't have to think about, like if my shoulder would hurt or not. Right. And I could just focus on my routine and doing it for the team. You did a great job. I was so Thank proud you. of you. <laughs> and then speaking of your shoulder surgery, this was your first surgery, right? First shoulder. Yes. Okay, it was your first shoulder surgery. And then this recovery, I swear, was the quickest I've ever seen. <laughs> this girl, please like walk us through your recovery and your timeline and your plan because you went down to like diet, everything. It was a tough decision because going into the summer, I had literally tried every single option. I got injections, did PRP therapy, which is like drawing blood and um, injecting like the good blood, what what's left of your good blood back into like the um, injury area and nothing was working and I remember hanging on the bar after in the summer and it just I could barely even hang and I couldn't do a handstand so at that point I was like I know I need to have surgery and it was hard for me to accept it at first because I didn't want to be out and like away from my teammates this season especially because I knew we were gonna have such a strong team so at that point I decided well I had the surgery and I'm gonna do everything that I can to be back and to help out my team because that's really what was most important for me. She did exactly that. She was in it. I was going to say. Right yeah. when she woke up. Exactly. <laughs> so when did you decide that you were going to go full force coming back into gymnastics? I remember you were still, you know, it's a really quick timeline that you went through. And um, so talk about your mentality going into the season. I think when I was trying to decide if I was going to redshirt or not this year was around December when I actually decided that, you know, I'm going to give it everything that I have and really put myself and try to give myself a shot to help the team out this year because around that point was when my shoulder surgeon actually told me I was about four weeks ahead in all my rehab. And so I was like, well, if I'm that far ahead, I can definitely progress faster going into season and be ready more than just competing beam or one event. And I could, you know, try for doing bars and doing floor as well. Were you planning to be that far ahead in your rehab or was it just something that was like, oh yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> you know, I think 
a lot of it did come from like what I was fueling my body with because I starting from right after like my surgery was like the most important time to get all the inflammation down and so I had like a lot of antioxidants and just a lot of like um, salmon and tuna because those are really good for like omega-3s and I think that was kind of like the start of what helped me prepare for this season and really kind of along with the staff and doing all my rehab, I think that's another key component that helped me to be that far ahead. It was so hard to get back into shape, get back into conditioning. How did you stay positive throughout the whole thing and how have you been able to still inspire other people while being injured? I think that was probably the one thing that I was most worried about was trying to come back that fast because mm -hmm. I knew the skills would come back but I knew the hardest part was going to be like the endurance and yeah. getting like muscle and strength back and at the same time I knew that all my teammates would already be in season so I wanted to stay connected with the team and be like doing the same thing as them but at the same time I needed to do like extra weights or just make sure I got all of my um, conditioning in so that I could be prepared. Now for your favorite parts. Twitter questions and there were quite a lot of submissions so let's get to it. <laughs> Michelle Marshall, as a sophomore do you feel as though your role on the team has changed since last year? Great job at the meet this past weekend. Hashtag go Bruins. I definitely feel like I'm almost like a different person than oh. freshman year. Oh. <laughs> Tell me more about this different person. Is your name even Maddie Koshy? <laughs> well, I don't know if that's my name because everyone calls me Koshy now, but oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Koshy. she's Koshy. Koshy. <laughs> but I feel like I've just grown up and grown to really enjoy this whole experience and my club and like elite career I was so always focused on like winning and the accomplishments and that's like what I became proud of but I feel like in college it's more of like the person who you become and who you grow to be. Oh, I'm so proud of you, Maddie. Well, you're having more fun for sure this year. I'm like experiencing a new side of Maddie this year. Aww. It's great. She's so supportive of everyone. She's really getting in with the team huddles and telling you. You've gone up to so many people and helped so many people. Even, so it's really yeah. cool to see. Yeah, even in the beginning of season, she was like, Coach Kosh. Yeah. <laughs> like giving them, Thanks. giving the people like fist bumps and everything. It was really great. This one is from Coben. What has been the hardest part of your comeback? And what has been the most rewarding? Hashtag Broom Banter. The hardest part of my comeback was in preseason when I, I felt like I couldn't contribute my part because I was injured and I wasn't like allowed to jump for like six weeks or eight weeks, whatever it was, while all of my teammates were working really hard trying to really focus on the goal of becoming national champions and putting in all of the you know, hard conditioning sets, the 720. I just remember all of those moments that were really hard for them. and. I couldn't necessarily do the exact same thing as everyone. So I think probably kind of being a little bit on the sidelines was the hardest part for me. But the most rewarding part would definitely be being able to compete through events this past yeah. weekend and Impressive. just, just yeah. really contribute to the team and know that all of my teammates have been so supportive this whole comeback. And it's mm -hmm. just something really special when after my bar team I finished and everyone started giving me hugs is something I'll never forget. Aww. This one is from Double L. <laughs> after having surgery, how do you mentally cope daily while working towards those long-term goals, especially after having such a strong freshman campaign? Hashtag Bruin Banter. Hashtag Fight Fierce. Time to shine at Nationals. This is your year, Bruins. Wow. <laughs> that was a lot I of like motivating. that one. I like it. LL. Use double all L. those 140 L characters. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Good question. I would have to say mentally coping with things. I definitely visualize a lot of things and even when I was recovering I would visualize like what routines were most realistic this year compared to last year because this year I knew that I would have to kind of adjust some routines a little bit. A way for me to like stay in the game would be um, in preseason just visualizing me doing like the best routines that I could mm -hmm. um, all the way at in different arenas and just in different environments and just always making sure that I was there for my teammates and I'm still like making sure that I would be connected with everyone so that coming back I would be ready and everything would be faster and easier. Thank you Maddie so much for being on the <laughs> show. Welcome. Thanks for having me. It was such a pleasure. I love hearing it's about it. It's been too long. It's been, it has been too long. I know. It was, I was the first one last year. I know. And now you're... So I'm like almost like your first and last. Oh, how cute. <laughs> Oh, wow. I, I love it. I love it. <laughs> Next time your Bruins will be competing in St. Louis, Missouri for the national championships at the semifinals. And that will be on April 20th at 10 a.m. Pacific time on ESPN2. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and we will see you next time on... 
Bruin Bitters. Bitters. <laughs>